वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज ऑफ कंप्यूटर स्टडी स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ इंग्लिश मीडियम चैप्टर नंबर एट दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए स्टूडेंट नेम देवान्स पटेल हु इज स्टडिंग इन स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ इन फातिमा कॉन्वेंट हाई स्कूल भावनगर He is a very supporting and hard working student. He is specially devoting his time for the noble cause of contributing towards this YouTube channel with a selfless motive. So, I expect that you all encourage him by watching and liking this video. So, let's begin. Chapter 8 Charts in Kelsey Number 1 Correct choice of dash can lead to right and faster decision A data B function C formula or D chart The correct answer is D chart Which of the following is prepared first to create the chart A data B spreadsheet C range or D none of the given the correct answer is A data third chart type is selected in the dash step of chart wizard A first B second C third or D fourth The correct answer is A first fourth which of the following is selected or decided in the second step of chart wizard A chart type B data range C data series or D chart element the correct answer is B data range fifth which of the following is selected or decided in the third step of chart wizard a chart type b data range c data series or d chart element the correct answer is c data series sixth which of the following is selected decided in the fourth step of chart wizard a chart type b data range c data series or d chart element the correct answer is d chart element seventh kelsey automatically converts it range into dash a relative address b absolute address c irrelative address or d both b and c the correct answer is b absolute address eighth to fix the column or row in a data range to make it absolute which symbol is used a hashtag b dollar c and or d percentage the correct answer is b dollar ninth dash option is used to display title on horizontal axis a title b subtitle c x axis or d y axis the correct answer is c x axis 10th dash option is used to display title on vertical axis a title b subtitle c x axis or d y axis the correct answer is d y axis 11th the chart in kelsey may have how many of the following axis a 2 b 3 c 2 or 3 or d 4 the correct answer is b 3 12 Which of the following is used to provide a link to the chart? A 
एक्टिव लिंक बी हाइपर लिंक सी ड्रॉइंग लिंक और डी कनेक्शन लिंक द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी हाइपर लिंक थर्टीन टू विच ऑफ द एंटिटी कैन अ कैल्सी चार्ट बी लिंक्ड ए टू एन एग्जिस्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट बी टू ए न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट सी वेब पेज और डी ऑल ऑफ द गिवन द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी ऑल ऑफ द गिवन फोर्टीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन इज यूज टू प्रिंट अ चार्ट ए इंसर्ट टू चार्ट बी फाइल टू व्यू सी फाइल टू प्रिंट और डी व्यू टू चार्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी फाइल टू प्रिंट फिफ्टींथ विच मेन्यू इज यूज टू ऑप्टेन चार्ट विजर्ड ए एडिट बी व्यू सी इंसर्ट और डी टूल्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी इंसर्ट सिक्सटींथ Which of the following is used to enter 3D text in Kelsey? A. Font work. B. Art work. C. Drawing work. Or D. Graph work. The correct answer is A. Font work. Seventeenth. Which of the following shows us the preview of the chart? A. Save as XHTML. B. Page preview. C. Export chart. or d any of the given the correct answer is b page preview 18th which menu is used to display drawing toolbar a view b edit c format or d tools the correct answer is a view i hope you had liked this conversation thank you now before going to the online test in the comment section please inform me whether you like this type of mcq videos or not according to your comments i will decide whether to prepare this type of videos for all the chapters or not now we come to the second part of the video that is the online test all those students who have given this type of test in the previous chapter may skip this part of the video and start answering the online test and rest of the students who are answering the test for the first time may continue watching the video a link is given in the description of this video as soon as you click on that link this type of online test will start now at present i am explaining you through a tutorial video of chapter number 2 english medium computer study standard 10 online test now the first thing is you have to answer your name here which is a compulsory thing you may answer your real name or your fake name it doesn't make any difference another thing the marks which you get in this test will be not will not be disclosed to the public it will remain secure only you will come to know how many marks you are getting so first thing is you have to enter your name second uh, you will have to answer each question one correct answer carries one point so at present i am uh, just clicking on any of the answers okay i am not just clicking on the correct options but i am clicking anywhere to explain you that like this way you will have to answer the test now all answering all the questions is a compulsory thing you cannot skip any of the question for example this test which i am answering is of uh, some 20 or 24 or 25 marks then i will have to answer all the questions and that is a compulsory thing so i have reached the 15 question just now i will finish answering all the questions and thereafter i have to click to click on the submit button as soon as i click on the submit button i will get my 
marks generally we all are worried about when will we get the results when will we get our marks right so here as soon as you click on this uh, thing that is submit button you will get your mark see here is the submit button i have finished answering all the questions so i click here so this thing will come view score okay how many marks i am getting so i will click on view score so it is displaying that 18 out of 24 now another bet benefit of this type of test is it will show you that which answers you have answered incorrectly for example question number 2 was answered incorrectly so it shows me red color cross and the question is also marked in red and the answer which i have given is also marked here so like this way you will come to know that which which questions answer you are not able to answer correctly now here i have not kept a provision that if this is the wrong answer then this is the correct answer i have not kept that provision for that you will have to watch the video again now the main benefit of this test is at the time of exams when you want to revise all the chapters then you can answer all this test and you will be able to revise all the chapters very easily and at the time of exams uh, i am going to keep a provision in this test like that way that if any of the answer is wrong for example this answer is wrong then it will also prompt you for the correct answer so at once you will not have to watch the video even to know the correct answer so this is all about the online test now you go to the description of this video and click on the link another thing please don't forget to type in the comment section whether i should conduct this type of test and this type of uh, uh mcq solving videos or not thank you here we complete this video if you like the video please hit the like button and we meet in the next video thank you goodbye